Hello everyone and welcome to Billington Stewart. My name is Steve, I'm the official product tester here at Billington Stewart and today I'm very excited to share with you the latest addition to our ZoomTac range, the ZoomTac T8 Plus 2. Now if you haven't heard of ZoomTac before, their flagship devices keep growing from strength to strength. Originally we had the T8, then the T8 Plus, the T8 Plus S and now the T8 Plus 2. And they do keep getting better and better every time they release them. You know, they really are a company on point. Again, if you haven't heard of ZoomTac, they're one of the only uh, companies that actually establish their brand and attach it to each of the products they sell out onto the marketplace. They're very proud of their products and it is testament to their build quality as well. Um, they only use some of the best component parts available in the marketplace from companies such as Realtek, Amlogic, Nanya, Hiinx, Samsung. NXP and Ampac, okay, just to name a few. But as I say, you're getting all the best quality component parts, something which you won't find in other Android devices. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and open it up and have a look and show you what's inside. So as we open up inside, you see it comes packaged directly like this from the manufacturer. And lay that box to the side there. You get the actual device itself. Okay, your zoom tack written on the top there. So you know it's company official, and you've also got T8 Plus 2 written on the front. Okay, make sure you do get that. And obviously, on the back, you've also got the antenna, which I'll talk about more in a moment. Okay, also inside the box, you'll get your power pack supply, a HDMI cable, and the latest range of the zoom tack remote controls there. As you can see, it's a little bit of an upgrade if anyone's got any previous versions from um, T8 Plus range. This is a newer version. These buttons across the top are now coded within the device. So the red one, if you click it, goes straight to Cody. Other bits and pieces like that are all in there. If we go through that in more detail. So, just to give you a little bit of an idea about other bits and pieces um, about the device. For those of you that are familiar with <coughs> Android boxes, the ZoomTac T8 Plus 2 will offer 4K video playback, so if you've got any 4K videos on a USB stick or your phone that you want to play through this device, you can do. It doesn't offer 4K streaming just yet, but it will stream in up to 1080p full HD. There's also the S912 Octa-Core 64-bit Cortex A53 up to 2 GHz CPU there. Now, um, that is obviously one of the latest chipsets that we've got, the S912. Also, OctaCore, a very, very powerful device to have. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM. This is very important, I think, personally. Um, I've used devices in the past that have had one gigabyte of RAM, and it can be a little bit of annoyance uh, to use. Depending on what you're using it for, two gigabytes of RAM, I think, is essential to get the best out of you know, the pleasure of using the device and not having to wait for things to load. I think it's a really, really good idea. Also, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. So if you've got anything you want storing on here, uh, as I say, if you've got stuff on USB or whatever that you want to download and load onto the box and have stored on there at all times, it's a great way to have that. And 16 gigabytes is, is very, very good. Also, the operating system inside is Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Now, why is this a good thing? I mean, if you're using this device for Kodi, then the latest version of Kodi uh, is now not working on previous versions of Android, such as 4.4 KitKat. So you need sort of 5.1 and uh, 6.0 will really future-proof your device. So it's a great way to stay up to date with all of the latest uh, updates from your device and also from the Android App Store and Google Play. You've got the OctaCore ARM T820 MP3 GPU inside, dual band Wi-Fi, again something which isn't offered by all of the uh, companies and all of the other devices. Dual band Wi-Fi essentially allows you to be able to get the best out of your wireless signal at home. So whether you've got personal electronic devices such as your mobile phones or you've got computers, um, if you've got like Xbox controllers, things like that, they all run off the same sort of frequency. With dual band Wi-Fi, it can then help de-conflict those signals and keep your Wi-Fi strength strong. Bluetooth 4.0, you've got support for 3D, so if you've got your 3D TV, you can play uh, YouTube 3D, 3D movies, uh, anything that you can find on there, really, really, really good. And then if we have a look around the device itself, you see you've got the physical button, the on-off button there, you've got the LED display at the front. Going across the side, you've got the vents on the side to keep the device nice and cool in your home, which is good. You've got the SD card slot here, you've got three USB ports, 
as I mentioned the antenna as well this obviously helps boost Wi-Fi signal but you know what I'd certainly recommend is if you've got the capability to do so running it through an Ethernet port to give you that you know the good quality signal that you, you might need for streaming and other such stuff on your device you've got the um, DC port there where your charger will go in HDMI cable your red white and yellow jacks and also you've got a digital optical port on the back there as well and more vents across the side so that's the main features of the device obviously absolutely fantastic what I'm going to do now I'm just going to set it up uh, turn it on and show you what to expect when you load up your device just give me a couple of moments Hello everyone and welcome back. <clears throat> Try again, shall we? Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the device on now. So I can show you exactly what to expect when you turn on the device for the first time once you plug it into your TV. Obviously the ZoomTac brand will come up first. Let you know that it is a genuine ZoomTac device. Make sure that when you do get one of these, that you do get this uh, ZoomTac brand logo flashing as it turns on. As this is the first start, it might take a couple more minutes, but then as you can see, the welcome screen will then just go straight in. Obviously, choosing your language there, I'm going to choose the English setting. And then your display screen. So using the up and down arrows, you can see now you're starting to get a bit of white around the edge of the screen. Just make sure that's maximised. So you've got the full peripherals, mine's about 93-94%. Click next. And then as you can see, it's connected to my Ethernet port. If you wanted to though, you go plus, click on Wi-Fi, find your Wi-Fi network, put in your password and get yourself connected. And that's me all set up. So this is new, this is uh, the new ZoomTac layout for those of you that have the old devices. Uh, it works in exactly the same sort of way. But this is new for the T8 Plus 2, also the T8X and the T8V. Um, that we've got out on, on sale at the moment but this is exactly what it will look like here so you can add your favourite app as I mentioned before you can just go ahead have a little bit of a search around these are some of the apps that are already on there so you've got the App Store, App Installer if you find yourself a .apk file online you can uh, install it from a USB stick directly on there so that's always good or download it onto the device itself the browser so it'll go straight into uh, Google Chrome your factory reset, file manager, file browser, your film on, uh, gallery, Kodi, Myrocast, movie player, music, uh, Netflix is on there, the Play Store. You've also got uh, logs if you want to uh, have a look and see how, if anything comes up with a, an error display, you can go back and have a look at the log. Uh, recommended apps, settings, uh, speed tester, and YouTube. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to click on Kodi. That's that, and then it just attaches it straight to the front there. So we've already mentioned the apps and the browser and stuff. Also, clean memory. So if you click on that, it'll then start closing down anything that's running in the background uh, to free up some of that RAM to make sure your device is always running at optimum uh, sort of like efficiency. Really, really good setting to have, and that'll just keep wearing away and get rid of anything that's going on in the background, as I mentioned. Going into settings then, obviously your Ethernet and your Wi-Fi, you've also got date and time in there, weather settings, screen scale, HDMI output, speed test, info and advanced. If you go into advanced, uh, you go into more settings, it will then bring up this network, which is going to be familiar for those of you that have um, used Android 5.1 or Android 6.0 on, uh, on the TV boxes before. Go in here and then say if you want to on something like apps, okay, this is quite a useful feature. Go and have a look and see what apps and all that. If you click on something like Kodi, for instance, if it stopped working, you can go down and if it had been run, you can clear the data, clear the cache, which is also really good. And if you've been running it as well, you can also force close it. So if Kodi happened to stop at any point um, due to an error or it was completely frozen, click home on your uh, remote control, go back, go into this setting and then click force stop. Really, really good. So... Hey, you can add uh, remote controls, you can add uh, Bluetooth devices, all stuff like that, just in case you wanted to. Accessibility as well, if you want to put some child locks on it and all that sort of thing, it's all available to you on there. Now, the next thing that I want to have a look and show you is Kodi. Now, we send all of our devices out blank. Um, there's a couple of reasons for this. Obviously, you can see we're running version 16.1 Jarvis. 
Okay, and we're, we're sending these out blank simply so that if you get it back and you want to customize this however you want to, it's straight in there. This is exactly how Cody's loaded up. Okay, there's nothing in there, nothing's all pre programmed, it just comes exactly how you want it to be, exactly how Cody is designed to be. Now, something which I would recommend doing if you don't have the technical know how on how to do your own builds and stuff like that, check your copyright agreements, make sure everything's all good, and then go ahead and have a look at the Aries Wizard. There will be something on the Aries Wizard at the end of this video to show you, but this is. It's just a great way to download a whole host of custom builds. or Everything's done for you. But as I say, I'll go into that in more detail later on. But just to show you there, that's exactly how we'll send Cody out to you. We'll always keep updating the devices. Obviously, once you've got the device yourself and a new version of Cody comes out, if you want to know how to update the latest version of Cody, either check out the Cody website itself or come to us, send us a message through eBay or through our Facebook page. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'll run the Cody's Wizard for you um, at the end of this video. If you have any further questions or anything, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And you'll find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Billington Stewart. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the Aries Wizard. I'm not going to go into the full installation. You know, that can be done uh, once you've purchased the product. There's a full blog on our website that you can go and refer to to download it. But it does literally take seconds to do very very easy very simple and the step-by-step -step guide that we've got is uh, completely foolproof so if we go on to programs once you've downloaded it and put it in it'll be in program add-ons and you just click on the aries wizard once you've got that it'll have a look make sure it checks for updates and stuff like that and uh, then it'll just start up so as i mentioned before it's maintenance really this does everything for you there's no real reason to um, worry about whether the add-ons are going to go on and off or if a build needs updating that sort of thing this is all done for you so you can click on it at the, at the top you see you've got browse builds browse add-ons maintenance backup tweaks you know if you're not clued up on what to do with an android device this makes it so very simple to install builds to Kodi. for example if you click on builds and just go down you've got the aries wizard build you've got pulse apollo fire tv guru all of these basically are just on there and at a click of a button all you do is cl simply click install now with this on the right hand side you can see total downloads 83,000 this week 13,000 downloads pulse over 2 million downloads these are really good really well maintained builds that use very popular add-ons it's all done at the click of a button so simple it's you know it's, it's just not worth buying something where someone's pre-installed a build onto it and then you have to worry about it when this is a completely free download and you can have a look and just go straight into it so say if i wanted to pulse build pick one that you want so there's a couple of different versions on there but if you just went pulse ccm um, and then clicked on install it just installed it for you all the add-ons will be on there and it takes a couple of minutes for it to just to download You'll then turn the device on and off again and away you go. All the popular add-ons are on there. As I say, absolutely fantastic. If you wanted to personally build it yourself, then obviously using the bits and pieces at the top of the toolbar, you can go ahead and just browse add-ons. So video add-ons, program add-ons, repositories. You know, if you know what you're doing, again, an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Uh, maintenance and other bits and pieces as well. But that is everything on the Aries Wizard. As I say, you'll get the links to our website once you've uh, completed your purchase. You can go ahead and have a look exactly how to download the Aries Wizard. Very simple. Leave it to the professionals. They maintain all of this on a 24-7 basis. Why even bother um, looking at trying to build it yourself or having pre-installed uh, builds that are more than likely going to go wrong and over time won't be maintained as well as these guys will be able to do it. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.